let's take a look at how we can add disaster recovery protection into an Azure virtual machine. I don't have my Azure virtual machine turned on right now. However, I am in the properties. So if I scroll down and on the left hand side, there's going to be an option called disaster recovery. I'll click on that link. And what it does for us is it adds another copy of our virtual machine in another place. So for instance, right now you can see on the left hand side that it is currently on the West Coast. But what I want to do is I want to replicate it with someplace else and it's making the recommendation to replicate it on the East Coast. So what I'm going to do is click on review and start replication. And you can see here, source region west, selected target region east. I'll click on review and start replication. And instead of clicking start replication, I'm going to click on advanced settings. And then under application settings, click show details. And under recovery services vault, it says east US number two. Under the vault resource group, we can see it says site recovery vault RG. So it's basically creating a brand new resource group. Uh, in order to create this virtual machine. And in a replication policy, it says 24 hour retention policy. So I can take a look at that. It doesn't really give me any other options. I can also take a look at the storage settings under show details. And it gives me the option to change from a standard or premium or standard SSD. So the premium SSD is going to cost the most, standard SSD the middle, and the standard HDD is going to be the slowest, but it'll be the cheapest. And for replication, that's perfectly fine. Now I'll click on review and start replication. And this is very similar to a Hyper-V broker. So Hyper-V broker, if you're using a virtual machine using Hyper-V in an on-premises situation, allows you to create another virtual machine host, and then you can copy that information and it does live copying to it. And you can do it in a clustered situation where the uh, cluster itself will switch back and forth depending on which device, which node is going to be up and running. Or you can do it just basically as two physical servers where one just replicates to the other. The cluster way of doing things is going to be better for high availability because it automatically cuts over. Whereas if you're just using two computers where one is replicating to the other, then you're going to have to manually cut that over. We'll click start replication. Take a look at the right hand side. We see initializing deployment. Deployment is started. It's in progress. I'm going to click on my alarms at the top and we can kind of see what's happening right now. It's enabling the replication. It's running. It's already created the service principle. The deployment was succeeded. So we're sort of going back in history here. And now it's finishing up enabling replication. Sometimes these replications fail on the first attempt, as you see here, but just go back into the same place and choose to enable it again. And the second time around, it should replicate just fine. If for some reason your virtual machine becomes unbootable, you can set it so it automatically boots to the other location, or you can manually fail over to it. So that's how you set up disaster recovery for a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure.